Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and if you are new, please take one second and hit that subscribe button and come and join the family. So today's video is going to be my wrap up for March and my TBR for April. I also have a little unboxing. I got a order from Owl Crate that I'm going to unbox before we get into my wrap up. So let's get into this. I know what this is. I did order it. I don't have a subscription with Owl Crate. Um, I figured one book box subscription is good enough for me right now. So I just have my fairy loot. But I have ordered a few things from Owl Crate and I have not been disappointed. So let's get into it. And we have the squigglies right on top. And then a gorgeous edition of Bone Criers Dawn. I got this gorgeous signed edition of Bone Criers Moon that was designed by Owl Crate. I got they didn't get this off Owl Crate. I got this off like Mercari or something from somebody else. And they even sent it with the little authors note on the inside but i knew i wanted to get a matching set for bone cars dawn so that's what this is um let's just cut this open oh the hole right here so bone cars moon has that beautiful blue cover with the gold sprayed edges here and then we have Bone Cryer's Dawn, which is this beautiful purple with the silver sprayed edges. So I definitely wanted to get the matching book. And this one is signed. I don't know if this one's signed. I would assume so, but yeah, this one's signed too. But because I got in this one, I knew I wanted to get the second book in the series. So I'm very happy that I now have both and they match. So that was the only thing I got out of this Owl Crate box. And now Bone Cryer's Dawn can join Bone Cryer's Moon on the bookshelf because I kept it in the box until I could do this unboxing. So for my wrap up for March there, I think I only read one book off my TBR, but if I remember right from when I did my TBR for March, I said it wasn't a solid TBR. I was just putting it out there, hoping that I could get to these books and I got to one. So, well, one and a half, but I started the other book this month as opposed to last month. Um, So the books I did want to get to in March or hope to get to in March but didn't quite get to were A Court of Thorns and Roses. I think I did start this. I got to page 72 so that's right towards the end of chapter 7 um and then I wanted to pick up A Court of Mist and Fury to follow A Court of Thorns and Roses but obviously didn't do that and I also had Dangerous Alliance by Janika Cohen. I read the first like page or two and it did catch my interest but I just I didn't get to it so it's definitely something I'm interested in. I do want to pick it up but it did not happen last month. Um the final book well not the final book but the final book that I did not finish in March that was on my TBR was Prepped by Bethany Mangle. I picked this up yesterday which I'm filming last night full third so I picked this up yesterday on the second and so far I love it I'm on page 122 so I am getting through it I just didn't get to in March but I did pick it up in April so that was a good one and the final book on my TBR that I did read was A Deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova. This was a good book. I enjoyed this book. I think I gave it four stars. It was definitely what I was looking for. It was just a fantasy romance. It was cute. I liked it. Um, so this follows Luella who discovers she's the human queen, which means she's a human that has powers. So she is set to marry the elf king and save his land called Midscape. Um, there's this whole thing. They fall, they hate each other then they fall in love it's cute I like it um it is said to be inspired by Hades and Persephone or Beauty and Beast and I can see that it's not like in your face but I can definitely see that um I definitely want to pick up more books by Elise Kova this was recommended by Olivia Reed Delatte so definitely want to pick up more by Elise Kova and I look forward to seeing what she ha what else she has so another book I read in March 
was I Am the Rage. This is by Dr. Martina McGowan. It is a book of poems. I gave this five stars. There's not enough that I can say about this. Um, I just found it very relevant as a person of color. I just found all of these poems to really speak to something in me and it just, it made me feel understood. So I highly recommend these. I first saw this on a video that Mel Reads did. I um, was looking to branch out more in my reading. I wanted to add more po poetry and nonfiction. So I saw this at the store, read the back of it and it was hooked. So I definitely wanted to pick this up. Um, again, highly recommend. Five stars for me. Um, the next book I picked up was a graphic novel. This is Teen Titans Raven by Cami Garcia and, um, illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. I really enjoyed this. Um, the art is gorgeous and it was just a nice fun read. I mean, I'm not quite big on Teen Titans, but it was nice. I got the nice hardcover. Um, edition but I think I gave it three stars it was just an enjoyable read the next book I read I loved it was a five star read for me it was the second book in a duology the first book I read last year and I also loved it could not wait until this one came out so this is namesake by Adrian Young this follows fable who was left abandoned on an island by her merchant father and she spent, I believe it was four years, raising money to try and get off the island so she could reconnect with her father and join his crew as she believed was going to happen, only to find out that what she believed wasn't exactly what he was offering. But this is the second book in the series. Um, don't want to go too far into it, so no spoilers, but, um, so this one, in this one, Fable discovers a, an unknown secret that she didn't know about her mother who died in an accident on their ship. I read it in two days and I think I only stopped because I had to get up early the next day. I loved it and I really want to pick up more by Adrienne Young. I have on my bookshelf, but, um, definitely want to pick up more. The next one I have is the final book in a series. I believe it's the final book. Um, so this is Anna James's Pages and Co series. This is the map of stories and it is the last book in the series. I finished this early last month, I believe. And this series follows Tilly who discovers she can walk through books. Her whole family can do it. It is a talent she didn't know she had. Um, she grew up in a bookstore with her grandparents and her mother disappeared when she was little and nobody knew where she went. So the first book, Tilly goes on adventure with her friend Oscar to find her mother. Um, so I highly recommend this series. It's very wholesome, so sweet, and I loved it. It's just, it's a good time. Um, four stars, I believe. And the final book I read in March is really just a constant reread for me. I have no clue how many times I've read this book but now. Um, so this is Magic in the Wind by Christina Fian. This is just an old favorite of mine. I love this series. It's just the first book in the um, Drake Sisters series. And um, I wanted to reread the series, so I started with this one. Um, this follows Sarah, who is the oldest of seven sisters who live in Sea Haven. She is charged with protecting Damon, who is a big, like, brain, I guess for the Justice Department or something. He thinks of security things, I guess. And she's set to protect him after he's attacked and kidnapped and tortured. So she has powers. I, it's just a nice paranormal romance. I really just read it for the comfort feels. But um, again, classic, like three or four stars for me. I love this series so much. And those were the books that I read in March, or as the case maybe, didn't read, but those are done. Now we get to the books I want to read in April. So again, tentative TBR because I never seem to get through all the books on my TBR. Um, but I do want to finish Prep by Bethany Mangle. This follows Becca who lives in a doomsday preppers colony, but she hates it and she cannot wait until she graduates high school, gets a scholarship, and can go to college. She is set to marry Roy Kang. This relationship has been set up by her parents. It is purely a survivalist relationship. They have no feelings for each other at all in the beginning um, until something drastic happens and she feels like her whole future has been derailed. And then Roy has a proposal for her that could possibly see both of them getting out of the colony. Um, I, like I said, I'm almost halfway through. I'm on page 122. Um, so far I'm loving it. It's a good read. Very interesting. The back of it says, Protocol for surviving your doomsday neighbors. One, pretend that everything is fine. 
Two, get into a college out of the state. Three, persuade little sister that comic books are cooler than bunker protocols. Four, avoid falling for arranged boyfriend. Five, see number one. So I just, the cover is, looks like a real doomsday preppers guide. It was part of my most anticipated releases for this year. Cannot wait to finish it. The next book on my TBR is one that I have wanted to get to. It's been highly recommended by almost everybody I watch on booktube. Um, so this is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. I definitely want to pick this up. It's supposed to be like an Arthurian retelling or something like that. This follows this follows Brie Matthews whose mother has died and she said to go to a residential program for bright high schoolers and I believe it's on her first night there that she witnesses something not normal, something magical happen. Like uh, I believe it was a battle against a demon um, and that just introduces her to a whole new world and powers she never knew she had. So I've heard great things. I believe this is a lighter, dark academia book, but definitely one that I wanted to pick up. Hopefully I can get to that this month. The next one is, I guess, a classic YA book. This is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I really want to get into her Shadowhunters series, so I figured I'd start here. Um, this is the first book in the Mortal Instruments. Um, I believe I'm gonna go in publishing order for the book, so I got this whole series in hardcover. Um, I think I've listened to this on audiobook and I don't remember remember any of it. It did not register so I wanted to pick up the book. I did start watching the series and I found it interesting. Have no clue if they're anything alike so we'll see how this works out. The next one is another highly recommended book that I have been trying to get through not because it's hard to read but because I just haven't picked it up. So this is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I have heard amazing things. I definitely want to pick this up. This follows Bryce who I believe watches all of her friends get killed by a demon or a creature of some sort and she goes off on a revenge plan to find the creature that killed them. Um, that's really all I know. I definitely want to pick it up. I've heard amazing things. I did start it. I don't think I got more than a page in but it caught my attention from the get-go. I just haven't picked it back up. The next book on my hope to get to this month TBR is the third book in the Bromance Book Club series. I have read the first two. Um, this is Crazy Stupid Bromance. Uh, I love this series. Cannot wait to get into this one. This follows Alexis Carlisle who has a cat cafe named Till Beans and she's interested in a techie Noah Logan. Um, I really just wanted it because it had a cat on the front and because I love the series but what really drew me to it was the cat on the front. Um, I do have a cat so anything with cats on it I kind of love. Um, cat cafe. I'm very much looking forward to picking this up. I already have a bookmark in it so that's one I want to get to. And then the last book, it's not the last book, but the last book that I'm going to put on this list is a reread. This is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is the first book in the Cassidy Blake series. Cassidy Blake is a teenager. She has an accident. Now she can see ghosts. Her best friend Jacob is a ghost. And then when summer starts and she thinks she's going to finally have a break from all the ghosts she sees, her parents drop a bombshell on her. They are going to start filming a TV show. And this TV show is about ghosts. Her parents are authors. They write about ghosts. They're called the inspectors. They write books about ghosts. The father takes the skeptical history side and the mother is all about ghosts being real and wanting to embrace the stories and whatnot. So this book takes them to Edinburgh in Scotland and Cassidy has a, an adventure. We'll put it that way. Um, her parents don't know she can see ghosts. It's a very good series. I'm reading this, rereading this because I want to read the third book, Bridge of Souls. So I will finish this one, then go on to Tunnel of Bones and get to Bridge of Souls. That's it. So that's my wrap up for March and my TBR for April. Like I said, it's not a solid TBR. It's a I hope to get to it this month TBR, um, but we'll see how that goes. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye.